hey everyone this is kiana and welcome to my channel kiki pretty life 23 so today i am going to be doing a review on this product called the beauty airbrush system so i always wanted to use the airbrush and try out some different designs with it so i finally purchased one on amazon so i had got it in the mail and this is what it came in and it was very very pretty once i opened the box it was this beautiful pink kind of rose goldish type of color it's really really pretty and it was nice and neat and clean so this is the instruction manual right here that came with the box all right so after opening the box this is everything that comes in it so it comes with a usb cord it comes with the motor the nozzle and then for the pink plastic part um, that's another bowl that you can use so it comes with a metal bowl as you see here like that big um, pink bowl that's on there that's attached to it um, you can use that or if you need a bigger volume you can use the pink plastic part so that's the motor that I'm holding there and it's really nice and kind of heavy and sturdy and then that's the pink plastic bowl that comes with it right there Okay, so I wanted to be lazy and not look at the instructions while putting this together, but as you can see, I was very, very confused of where the parts go. I was like, does the pink ball go at the bottom or does it go at the top? Like, where do I put it at? So, um, I had to read the instructions a little bit more, but I was able to kind of figure out um, where everything went. And then I saw that you could unscrew the top to put the product in. And my first thing that came to my head is like, do I put the pink plastic part on the bowl? Nah, like I, I wouldn't do that. So, um, I screwed it back on and, um, I ended up uh, putting the whole thing together and it was pretty easy. It was self-explanatory. Um, it came in a little bit charged, but I still end up having to charge it a little bit more just to keep the motor running. so I just took out some long coffin nails out my box and I just put them right on the stands so I'm gonna be using various of nudes so I'm gonna be using this glory color which is like a neutral base type of nude it looks more brownish but it's more like a neutral type of color more on the brownish side but it, it didn't really look like this um, like it does on the camera so I put that on and I also use a solid nude from Metal Glam as well which is like a peachy type of color it's more solid and then I also use like a pinkish type of color um, which is a pinkish nude on there and I use um, XOXO which you're also going to see in the video that I used which is like a dark brown nude. Alright, so after curing the nails for each layer that I did for the nude colors, I just wanted to show y'all how easy it was to interchange the bowls. So if you want a bigger bowl to put more product in, you can use the pink plastic bowl. Otherwise, the metal bowl works just as great and it holds just enough product that you need. So right now, I'm just getting some of the white polish and I'm going to be thinning out the white polish to put in the bowl because um, the polish itself is very, very thick. So to thin it out, I'm going to be using 90% rubbing alcohol to thin out the product before I put it in the nail gun. So that way it doesn't clog up anything and make it too thick.
all right so to make sure everything runs smoothly i just press that button down there and um, i pull back the lever and you'll hear the sound once it turns on and i'm just pulling back the lever to see if it sprays nice and smoothly and it given enough coverage and it did a pretty good job at that but i did need more product because i was running out a little too fast so make sure that you put enough product in there so that way you don't have to keep making more Okay, so now I'm airbrushing the first nail here. So on the first nail, um, it didn't really come out the best. It came out more spotty. And that was because I felt like the airbrush maybe was too close to the nail or I was piling too much product on there. So because I was putting too much, I felt like the air was blowing some of the polish away. But on the second nail, it actually started to come out a lot better. Um, I was getting used to learning how to work with the gun. Um, I, as you can see, I did like tapping motions instead of um, just holding the lever down. And I felt like it gave it a more even coat. So I felt like that came out really good. And you can see it almost looked like a really, really decent ombre, pretty much. Okay, so on this nail, which is the more solid type of nude, I went ahead and did the same thing. And it was still happening with the spotting, but it was actually coming out a lot better than I thought. I think I ended up doing two sprays for this one, but you see, even with the first spray, it came out pretty evenly and it, um, and it really covered um, the nude very, very well. And so I popped that into the lamp and I let that cure for 60 seconds. And then I also tried it with the um, pink one and the pink one came out really decent as well. I probably could have done two coats for that too, but um, yeah, I felt like the pink one came out pretty cute. So the little trick that I learned is just to make sure that I don't pile on too much product on the first spray and also to make sure that the um, airbrush gun is further away from the nail. Okay, so after curing it in the lamp, I went ahead and top coated the nail to see how the whole ombre would come out. And after adding the top coat, I was really impressed of how seamlessly the ombre was between the white and the nude. I feel like on a solid nude, it looks a lot better than on a more sheer nude because it really blends in a lot better for some reason. Or maybe I just haven't um, got experience enough yet to do an on sheer nudes, but on this one, it came out really, really, really good. And I mean, you can see it looks very, very smooth. It don't look all spotty like it did before. You don't see the texture. The top coat really does smooth that texture over really nicely. And then I went ahead and did it over all the other nails as well. Okay, so I wanted to try some other colors out to see if the nail gun is good with distributing other colors besides white. So I went ahead and took some orange polish. I thinned it out with some 90% alcohol. I put it in the nail gun and then I went ahead and tried it on some other nails.
also wanted to try some black as well but the black didn't come out the best and the reason why it was my fault i added too much rubbing alcohol to the black which caused it to be too too thin so it didn't come out as opaque like it should have out of the airbrush gun so um for next time for this color i'm definitely gonna do it a lot more thicker just to make sure that the color comes out a lot better um but it still came out somewhat decent but then i ended up screwing up really really bad and you will see later on um that as i was trying to kind of clean up my mess um some of the black came off the nail so i didn't even probably cure it all the way it just it didn't really go the best for this one After I top coated all the nails, this is how they came out. So the nude nails um, with the white definitely came out the best and um, I'm really happy that those came out good. But the other ones, um, the orange came out good but the black did not come out the way that I wanted so I would be um, working on that a little bit more. But on top of that, that is it. That is my review on this airbrush gun and it worked out really, really well. So definitely recommend to purchase on Etsy. I did get it on sale for about $27, but I don't know if the price went up or not, but I would definitely check it out and definitely try this airbrush um, beauty system. So thank y'all so much for watching. That is my review and I'll see y'all next time. I'm definitely going to be re um, recording more videos using this tool, so stick around, but otherwise and that i'll see y'all then don't forget to also follow my other social media sites um on tiktok facebook and instagram i'll see y'all there with that being said thanks for watching and supporting i'll see y'all next time